I want to show you how some of the backup and restore features in Perch Runway can actually help you manage a workflow around deploying and then later working on client websites. I'm sure you're familiar with the scenario of uh, de deploying a site for a client, they add their content and then you want to come back at a later date and do some more work on that site. Um, but your development copy now is out of date because you haven't got all the client's content. Uh, and so there's a whole bunch of work involved in just getting everything downloaded and get everything set up so you can see uh, the live site as it appears live in your development environment. Perch Runway's got some tools that, uh, that help you with that and I'd like to show you how they work. So this is a site that I've um, set up for a client. It's okay, pretty basic. All the images and the files that the client uploads rather than just living on the web server, they get pushed up to uh, Rackspace Cloud Files and they're served through uh, the Rackspace CDN there, so they're nice and quick uh, and, and very performant for uh, all site visitors all the way around the world. So let's add some uh, content just as the uh, as the client would. Uh, so we'll just add some images in here. Uh, and they're being uploaded to Rackspace. And so we can now go ahead and use these images in our content. I'll just add a few. And we should be able to see that very roughly those have been uh, added to our site there. So this is our site set up by the client. They've added their content and now we want to come along and make some changes uh, in our development environment, but we need to get our development environment up to date first. The way we do that is by using the backup feature. So I'm actually going to go uh, into the settings, into backup, and I'm going to set up a new backup plan. Uh, I'll just call it daily. Uh, I'll back up um, database and assets. Get it to run every 24 hours, and I'll back up to a second um, resource bucket that I've configured that's just called backup. Now this is also going to Rackspace but it's going to a different folder on Rackspace, a, a, a non-public one, one that isn't shared uh, via the CDN. Uh, so I'll create that and uh, if I click backup now you can see the database has been backed up and uh, um, hopefully then pushed up to uh, Rackspace. So let's look at our staging site. It's over here, you can see uh, there's nothing on it at the moment. This is actually just a, um, a completely fresh uh, install of Perch Runway. Um, it has the same uh, uh, default pages, um, but otherwise it's got nothing in it. Um, what we can do is uh, uh, I've actually set up the same configuration with the same resource buckets um, and uh, the same Rackspace account. So what I should be able to do is say restore. Uh, it lists my two uh, buckets here. Uh, I'll pick this backup one and here we are 27th of October that's today if I click restore it gives me a warning say so restore it says it's been restored and I'm now going to have to re-authenticate that's because part of what gets um, uh, what gets restored is uh, the users tables so it needs to actually check that now with the data that it's got I'm still a valid user so I re-authenticate, and now if I refresh my homepage on my staging site, there's all our content. And that's how you can use the backup and restore features in Perch Runway to sync up a live site with your dev site so you can get to work on those changes really quickly.